and the society within which our company operates. Much of the information you're already familiar with. But perhaps this familiar information, looked at from a new point of view, will produce new insights. Let's begin. Some people in our society feel regimented. Others feel free. Still others see society as dehumanizing. Zip code? 90046. Social security number? 524223588. Telephone? 876-0930. 77221? 4321-68. 4572. 7534218. 4218? 5287144469. Youth examines adults. Forget the hang-ups. Freedom, man. That's what it's all about. Ah. Yeah. Freedom, man. That's what it's all about. Adults puzzle over youth. There's not a thing in their minds but the satisfaction of their own egos. Oh, I'm not complaining, and I know times have changed, but certain things remain constant. When I was a youngster... Hello, there! I knew right from wrong. We knew the value of a dollar, and we knew the meaning of hard work and sacrifice. We're fighting a war. Making a peace, integrating, segregating, getting richer, getting poorer. It's quite a time to be alive. Business has its particular problems. Young people refusing good jobs. Investors who are more influenced by publicity than performance. Customers complaining about the finest products produced anywhere in the world. You say it's not going to be ready for a week? Well, if I can't have it in blue by Thursday, forget it. I've been waiting three days. If that's the way oh, you yeah, do business, really then I have to take I saw the Rose Bowl game on television, live, in color. It was great. Except for the flesh tones. I don't want to sound like oh, a complainer. I finally got delivery. You know how I'm driving it. Some car. About 90, I get a vibration. They just don't make it. Well, she's got to have the light. Electric toothbrush. Big deal. Let the batteries run down. What do you got? Mouth full of cavity. No, no one might dentist. probably... Many of us here today remember when it was quite different. I firm believe that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. The pursuit of happiness had ground to a halt. Survival was the goal. Just to have a job. But to have a job with security. That was the prize in 1933. How long a product lasted was more important than how well it looked. Wall Street had forgotten blue sky and was now talking blue chip. Down to earth, safe. That was the place to be. Customers were marveling at the new technology, ready to forgive imperfections. The story of Mert and Marge. The voices faded and the static interfered, but just to have Mert and Marge in the living room was satisfaction enough. The telephone was still a marvel. The long-distance call an adventure. I have your party, sir. Hello, Steve. Steve, it's Marvin. Steve, I can hear you like you were next door. I can hear him like he was next door. Talk, talk, time is money. Steve, listen, how, how is it, St. Louis? St. Louis, how is it? I can't hear you, I'm so 
Why, Steve? I still can't hear you. You're fading. That's better. Yeah, I can hear you like you were next door, yelling. Listen, Rose wants to say hello. Say hello, Rose. Steve, it's Steve, hello. That's enough, Rose. Don't hug the phone. Sam, say hello to Steve. Hello, Steve. That's enough, Sam. Steve, Steve, the three minutes are almost up. Rose, say goodbye. Goodbye, Steve. Stephen, I'm hanging up the phone. Goodbye. I wanted to say goodbye. It was worth every penny. What a country. I mean, what a country. How did the bell system look then? And in those unsettling years that followed, we matched the styles. Fitted the needs of the time. We looked safe, durable, contemporary, part of the vacuum tube age. Times have changed. Looks have changed. As ours, not enough. We still look as though we were responding to the needs of the past. When young people are looking for challenge in their career, we seem to offer only security. When customers have come to expect technological perfection, we show up looking non-technological. In a fast-moving, competitive society, we look set in our way. In an era when society... Hello? Maybe a little, not much. Look at how other companies have had to change to stay current. The Chase National Bank then, looking staid, fitting the times. Now, looking innovative, part of today. Westinghouse then, looking like an appliance maker. Now, looking like a creator of advanced products. Con Ed then, user of coal. Now, the clean energy company. RCA then, electric, RCA now, electronic. Where's the look that connects us to today? Where are the visual signals that identify us as a pace-setting organization? Is this the world's most advanced communications organization or the motor pool of the quartermaster corps? How a thing looks today is as important as how well it works. As never before, people are influenced by what they see. It's not just looking cleaner or nicer or more tasteful. It's looking part of the society in which we operate, advanced. <laughs> We must respond to new needs. Since 1960, 38 of the 100 top Fortune industrial companies had to make a change, a major updating change in each of their looks. What should the Bell System's new look be? Consider the environment from the average person's point of view. Believe me, hear me. Read me. Drink me. Love me. Taste me. Smell me. Look me. Drive me. Oh, don't Believe me. Read me. Read me. Do. Don't do. Stop. Do. Don't do. Stop. Do. Stop. Do. Stop. Do. Stop. Me. 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 This is the way many people see their world. It takes a bit to break through. <laughs> Without being rude. Stop. 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 Or irrelevant. Lady Look, Pearl. We can break through and at the same time help unclutter the visual environment quietly with a look of excellence, beginning with the trademark. There are three basic categories of trademarks the monochromatic form, the 
logotype form and the symbol logotype form. Each has its strengths and weaknesses. The monogrammatic form's strength is that it's simple, condensed, quickly identified. Its weakness, the viewer must first be taught what the letters stand for before they make sense. Otherwise, it blends into the environment as so much alphabet soup. The strength of the second category, the logotype form, is that the name of the company is itself the trademark, but it has a weakness. Keep the lettering easy to read and it gets lost in the typographic environment. Try to make it stand out by stylizing it and you lose legibility. To help solve this dilemma, some companies surround their logo types with geometric shapes, but the shapes, being generic, can never be unique. The third category of trademarks, AT&T and the Bell companies use now. The symbol logo type form, it has several strengths. The symbol creates the uniqueness of the mark, so the lettering in the logo type can remain clear and easy to read. With an organization like ours, composed of many companies, the symbol becomes a flag, uniting the companies into a single organization. By itself, the logo type is just another word in a sea of words. But combined, the symbol serves as a focal point, directing attention to the name. This form of trademark has its weaknesses too, such as requiring the use of two elements, a symbol and a logo type. But all in all, it's right for the bell system. Except the present symbol, the bell, needs updating. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, that's true. Yes. Yes. But watch this. You saw this apple. This apple. This apple. This apple. You saw four different apples, but you didn't notice they were different. And you were concentrating. You see, one of the apples has a small leaf. Another has a different stem. Another has a... Hello? Put any kind of a bell inside a circle, and people will recognize it as the bell system. Watch. Different bells. You still see them as a bell. How up to date the system looks, however, depends upon the kind of bell. First, we looked at the words inside the bell. They didn't work. Couldn't read them much of the time. Further, they complicated the symbol. So we eliminated them. Next, we explored all possible bell forms, searching for the most up-to-date expression, emerging finally with a bell that has strength and impact. And above all, the look of today. Certain visual forms can remain contemporary over long periods of time. We think this new bell is one of them. The Mercedes-Benz trademark, designed 85 years ago, remains contemporary today. Next, we looked at the logo type. We explored serif and sans serif letter forms and chose sans serif because of its contemporary look. We then tried altering letter forms to develop a distinctive style, but found the more unique we became, the harder it was to read. 
Our decision. Keep it legible, as the Bell symbol is unique enough to set the trademark apart. Member of the Bell system is outside the Bell. Easier to read. We had our first signal. We had our second signal. Then, to further connect the Bell system to today and break through the environment, we added a third signal. <laughs> In the contemporary world, stripes have a message. They say, competitive, competent, alert, dedicated. They say the things we, the Bell System, actually are. These are our stripes. <laughs> Stripes, combined with the logo type and the symbol, signal an organization on the move. Our rolling stock becomes another important visual signal in the new look. We operate 128,000 vehicles, each a traveling billboard, each communicating a message, the new message, bell, young in spirit, the white, highly visible, crisp, Enhances the trademark. Stays cleaner, concealing soot and dust. White lowers interior temperatures as much as 10 degrees in warm weather. The gray-green bottom conceals heavy dirt, grime, and other road elements. The striping and the symbol are reflective, functioning as daytime, nighttime safety aids. At distances, and when there's only time for a quick look, the stripes become the prominent signal, identifying the bell system. We employ 71,000 installers, making 30 million premise calls a year. The new look proposes wearing apparel for these men. How they look affects our business. Few strangers allowed into homes have such close contact with families as do telephone men. They should justify the confidence placed in them by their behavior, their competency, their appearance. This man looks trained, qualified, reassuring. When working outside, the installers would wear a new jumpsuit. Zippers permit the suit to slip over shoes. He'll remove the suit before re-entering the house so not to track dirt inside. The new jumpsuit is reinforced for protection when crawling. Presently, installers wearing their own clothing can only be identified by an ID card carried in their wallets. The new apparel would satisfy an important identification need. We employ 31,000 construction workers. Proposed wearing apparel for them is styled to serve functional needs. Reinforcement on the chest, underarms, and thighs protects against splinters and creosote burns. Trim pant legs prevent climbing gaps from damaging fabric. Leg pockets are secured with zippers. The jackets are shortened, the pockets lowered for easier access. Reinforced areas for protection on the jacket, too. The concealed hood pulls out from under the back of the jacket. The new clothing would identify our men as Bell telephone people, not as gas people or electric people or civil service people, but as employees of Bell on the job, maintaining and bettering the telephone system. Now more visible, our publics would be more aware of our vast commitment to service. The clothes would... Yes? Some of the most rugged men alive wear the functional working clothes you call uniforms, with nearly all of them displaying stripes. Our new clothing is designed to make the man more efficient, look better, his job easier. The proposal also includes wearing apparel for coin collectors.
included, too, is a new look for women in close contact with our publics. The fashion news this year is not originating in Paris, London, or Hollywood, but in Bell offices across the country by 28,000 service representatives. Simply stunning. Imagine getting paid to wear clothes like these. More flattering than anything offered by the airlines. Come fly with Bell. Not just a single outfit, but a complete ensemble. For Monday's girl, Tuesday's girl, for every day of the week. You appear to have a closet full but the variety actually stems from a clever combination of a few basic items. Tellers. Airport attendants. Message center girls. Fashion models needn't apply. These clothes are designed for ordinary gals, from the very slim to the not so slim, designed for young people of all ages. The new bell stripes in flattering feminine shades add the perfect contemporary touch. These girls may not be operators, but they're making good connections between the phone company and its publics. Ma Bell has gone mod. Stripes on phone booths make them more visible, more contemporary. The new bell look will be seen everywhere. On phone signs. Building signs. Packaging. What does this all add up to, this new bell look? Our present look, dull. Our new look, alert. Our present look, drab. Our new look, crisp. Present look, government issue. New look, enterprising. Our present look, indifference. Our new look, pride. Our present look, gas company, electric company, unidentified. Our new look, bell system, trained, members of a coordinated team. Our present look, unrelated, uneven. Our new look, related, coordinated. Today. Our present look, inconsistent. Our new look, unified. Our present look, traditional. Our new look, contemporary. Our present look, Loosely connected, uneven quality. Our new look, connected, consistent. Our present look, 
weak signals. Our new look, strong signals. Our present look, hard to see, unrelated. Our new look, easy to see, consistent. Our present look, old-fashioned, different kinds of companies. Our new look, up-to-date, a system. And the new look, each impression contributes to the whole. Each signal, one piece of a mosaic. Operated as a national visual communications system. It will introduce into every town in this country the new bell look of excellence. The new look, for many, will be their assurance that they should join us, stay with us, invest in us, and that we believe in and act by our commitment to an ever-improving service. Gentlemen, Bell is alive. and living in the mainstream of today. With a look that says we will be the communications leader of tomorrow, just as we lead today.